Catherine Thomas. Welcome to Kingdom View. You know, the world has its view, but God has his view. We're worshipers and to see. Welcome to Kingdom View. I'm Apostle Catherine Thomas. I'm so glad that you tuned in today. And with me today are my co-hosts, Evangelist Gloria Smith. Grace and peace. All right. Elder Chauncey Boone. I bless you. And also, Prophetess Rosalind Ash. Praise the Lord. All right, praise God. So today, we're going to be discussing how to become an overcomer because we are all overcomers yes and this is the beginning of 2019 and what a better time if you do not know how to become an overcomer you i'm glad you tuned in because you're going to learn today amen, amen. amen. first of all you definitely have to accept jesus christ as your savior to be an overcomer amen. and today as you're listening if you have not already done so, we would like you just to go ahead and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Start the new year off right Jesus. with yes. Jesus in your life. Amen. 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 So I want to ask you all, now, being an overcomer, what does that mean to you, Prophetess Ash, being an overcomer? Victory in the Lord Jesus. All right. Amen. Victory in the Lord Jesus. Amen. All right. Amen. So we're also going to be sharing scriptures with you today on being an overcomer. So uh, you can go ahead and write down the scriptures. You can also get your Bible. But since you may not have time to continue to turn to all the scriptures that we'll be using, so it's best for you to go ahead and write it down. Okay. What about you, Elder Boone? What does being an overcomer mean to you? Mean that you have conquered something. Okay, being an overcomer means that you are a conqueror. And the Bible says we are even more than conquerors. That's Amen. right. Because yeah. through him that loves us, and that's Jesus Christ. So today, as I said, we're discussing being an overcomer. What about you, evangelist? What does being an overcomer mean to you? To me, it means transformation. Amen. All right? Being changed from the inside of the old man behaviors into a new person in Jesus God. Christ. Okay, Amen. and that's excellent, right? Amen. Being transformed, amen. amen. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read a couple of scriptures, and each one of us are gonna read a couple of scriptures to you, and we wanna talk about the scripture. We're not just gonna read it, but we're also gonna expound on it a little bit so you can understand, amen. So as I said today, we're going to be sharing scriptures with you. And the first verse that I want to share with you is John 16, 33. And it reads, this is Jesus speaking now. And he says, these things I have spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation. But take courage, I have overcome the world. And so what Jesus is telling us in the Gospel of John is that because he has overcome the world, then we have overcome the world. That's right. Okay? Yeah, that's right. And it's not so much what we did, it's what Jesus did on the cross. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus died on the cross for us, took all of our sins on the cross and forgave us and everything, this is why we are overcomers. We're overcomers by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And that Lamb is Jesus Christ. Amen. So I thank God for Jesus sharing this with us in the Gospel of John when he said, These things I've spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. And you can go back and search your scriptures to find out what these things were. But what I want you to understand is that he's telling us, in the world, yes. you have tribulation, but take courage. I have Amen. overcome the world. Amen. 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 And then in 1 John 2 and 13, it says, I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who has been from the beginning. And I'm writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you know the Father. 
Amen. Glory Amen. to God. And again, God is saying to us, he's saying, I'm writing to you fathers because you know him. Fathers that are listening today, you know him. If you do not know him, then today is your time to get to know him. Get to know Jesus today by accepting Christ into your life. Amen. And then he said, I'm writing to you young men, you young men that are listening. You know, one of the things that we talk about, and we've talked about this on the Kingdom View, is, right. is how to win the millennials. Mm -hmm. There are many millennial young men that are just not coming to church. True. Amen. But God is saying, telling them, he said, you can come on and start coming to church and learn of me. Learn how to live in this world. That's right. Because learn how to be an overcomer. Because you're already an overcomer once you accept me as your savior. But you have to learn how to walk in it. Yes. You have to learn yes. how to show others how to walk in it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then he said, I've written to you children because you know the Father. So basically he's saying that all of you, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, because this scripture he's talking to those of us that have already accepted the Lord, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're already an overcoming. Praise God. Isn't that great news? Amen. 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 I'm excited about it. Amen. Yes. Being an overcomer. But yes. as you all know, I get excited every time I hear about Jesus or just talking about Jesus. <laughs> but I thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. This is the beginning of the year. Yes. And this is a great time for you yes. to know who you are in Christ. Amen. 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 Right. I'm going to start down with Evangelist Gloria. And she's going to read two, uh, a couple of scriptures to you also. Um, I'm reading from 1 John 4 and 4. You are from God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Amen. And then my next scripture is 1 John 5, 4 through 5. Who is the one who overcomes the world, but he who loves, he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. All right. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Yes. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. And that's why, Pastor, people don't need to try to be self-sufficient mm -hmm. when it comes to being an overcomer. Amen. Because if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, Amen. Um, and that He is born, whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Amen. Because He, Jesus, is the one that's doing everything. Yes, he is. Amen. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith, and that's why that's we right. gotta have faith. Amen. Yes. We gotta have faith to believe that we can overcome this world, All right? Amen. And not be uh, come under the world. We mm -hmm. supposed to be living on top of the world. All Amen. right. Not the world Amen. living on top of us. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Amen, because this is the kingdom view. Yes. And God's view is that we live on top of the world. Mm -hmm. But the world wants to keep us down. That's right. And that's why I'm glad in uh, First John, you read Evangelist 4 and 4, with, um, where it says, you are from God, little children, and have overcome right. them. Mm -hmm. Because greater is he who yes. is in you than he who is in the world. Yeah. And I'm telling you today, greater is he. Mm -hmm. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, then greater is he that is in you yes. than he that is in the world. Yes. Who's in the world? Amen. Who are we talking about in the world? The devil. The devil. Mm -hmm. The devil is in the world. And we know the devil thinks he's great. Yes, yes he does. He definitely mm -hmm. thinks that he's yes. great. Mm -hmm. But here the Lord is telling us, you know, that you are the great one. Mm -hmm. Greater are you. Greater is the, the one that is in you mm -hmm. yes. than he that is in you the world. Amen. Amen. You're not the great one, but the greater one lives on the inside of you. Come on. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to be reading Revelations 2 and 17. He who has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. 
to him who overcomes, to him I will give some of the hidden matter, and I will give him a white stone, and a new name written on the stone, which no one knows but he who receives it. All right now. In Revelation, which was written out of uh, a man called John, who was speaking out of what the Holy Spirit had taught him. Mm -hmm. And he said, let him who have ears to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. All right. right. What that is saying is, open your ears if you're believing God and you're standing on the Word of God, mm -hmm. then believe what the Word of God is telling you. Amen. Because it's self-explanatory. Amen. To him, to him who overcomes. Amen. To him I will give some of the hidden manner. God is is waiting to give you some of the hidden treasures that are Ooh, hidden Lord in his word. God. Amen. And when you have an ear to hear what he said, he'll open up the insight Amen. of his word to yes. you that's yes. been hidden from the generation and Amen. will give you a white stone and a Amen. new name written on Ooh, the stone Lord which God. no one knows but he who receives it. Amen. God always has something hidden for those who desire him. Yes. So if you hear what the Spirit is saying to you today, you, you can receive that hidden manner Amen. right now. Amen. Opening up your mind and your soul to hear what God has said. And he'll give you something that only you will receive. Amen. And then in Revelations 3 and 21 it says, He who overcomes, I will grant to him to sit down with me on my throne. Amen. As I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Yeah. Right, yeah. He said, He who overcomes. In all the scriptures you already heard. And if you know you are overcome and you have overcome this world and you have decided to follow Christ, mm -hmm. he's promised you something. Amen. To sit down with him on his throne. Amen. And also, he, he said, as he has sat down on the throne, on, sat, sat down with his father on his throne, he is just acknowledging, I'm already here waiting All on right. you. Yes. So if you are an overcomer, then that is one of the rewards that has promised you. Amen. In the book of Revelation. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, that calls for a praise break yes. right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. Thank you. When I think about the fact that he has already sat down yes. with his father Thank on you, the throne. Glory, Glory to God. God. Thank Hallelujah. You, Glory Thank to God. God. Thank and you. so he's going to grant us to yes. sit down also yes. with yes. him. Yes. Glory to Thank God. You. Now that's, Thank that's you. just, oh, that just Glory really blesses God. my soul. Oh, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, yeah. but you know, to be honest, when you really look at what's going on in yeah. the world right now, yeah. um, you can become depressed, yes. Yes. oppressed, yes. because it really looks like the, the other side is winning. Mm -hmm. you know, it looks like the world is winning and not the church. That's true. And true. that's how the devil wants it yes. to look. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to continue to stay focused, Thank keep you. our that's mind right. on Jesus, yes. because it doesn't matter what it looks like. Go ahead. You have to keep your mind yes. on his word. On his word. What does the word say? And so we're letting you know today, just sharing with you some scriptures mm -hmm. on this program to let you know that you are an overcomer. It Amen. doesn't matter yes, what it looks like. That's Maybe right. you didn't get the job that you want. Maybe you didn't get the house that you wanted. Maybe you didn't get the baby that you wanted. All right. Whatever it is that you didn't get, That's you right. know, last year, well, we're here to tell you today, if you have Jesus, yes. you are an overcomer, no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. yes. So stop looking at the circumstances mm -hmm. yeah. and start looking at what where we are yeah. with Jesus and where we're going. You yes. know, again, when we talk about seated with him, yes. seated with the Father on the right hand of the Father with Jesus, glory to God. The, the word of God says, absent from the body, yes. present with the Thank Lord. You, yes. you know, we didn't come here yes, to Lord. stay here forever. That's right. We yes. only here for a short time. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And so when we leave this place, we yes. have the blessed assurance yes. that we know the destination. We're not yes, just Lord. here not knowing where we're going. That's the right. Bible says, it's That's appointed right. unto man once to die. Everybody has to die. That's right. Right. But don't live on this earth in hell and then when you leave here, die and go to hell. Right. And if you are already saved, don't live on 
on this earth without having the abundance. That's right. Because Jesus said, I come that you might have All life right. yeah. and you might have it yeah. more abundantly. Amen. Like the man just said, living on top of the world. All right. All right, y'all. Praise God. Praise God. All right. This is the kingdom view. Yeah. So we just want the audience to view. Yes. Jesus, all right, Tyler. our soon and coming mm -hmm. King. Amen. He's already seated, like yes. you said, Elder Boo. He's yes. sitting there. Yes. So when high us, glory, glory yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> glory to Thank God. You. He's resting. Amen. Wait for us. Yes. He knows the overcomers. Yes. He knows who they are. Yes. Yes. Praise you. God. Yes. Thank and you. he's there, you know, like the rest of the host, and they cheering mm -hmm. us on. Yeah. Okay, you got that. That's yeah. right. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Right. Just sitting there, right. just looking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Just view it. Amen. Just view it. of men the good thing that yes. the Lord has for you. Yes. You got to start thinking mm. God has some good things for me. Mm -hmm. As a man thinking so is he. Amen. You know, Amen. And whatsoever you ask. Yes. Jesus said whatsoever you ask in my name I would do it that the Father may be glorified. Yes. If you ask anything I will do it. So Amen. that makes you an overcomer. Yes. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I'm so right excited. Yeah. I don't know if I can go any further than this. Right. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. I will be coming to you. Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb. Mm. Yes. And because of the word of their testimony. Yes. yes. They did not love their life, even when faced with death. My, my, my. Mm. We have to understand that when the blood was shed, yes. Yes. we were promised eternal life. Yes, yes. we were. And as the word of our testimony Hallelujah. is where God has brought us from to now. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to his name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And we are walking from life to eternal life. Come on. Yes. Because yes. death is saying, okay, mm -hmm. here I come. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to the other side. Yes. yes. Right so when we walk and we're faced with that death, mm -hmm. we yes. know that eternity is on the other side. On the Amen. Other side. My, 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 Amen. my, my. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Yeah. The word of God says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? All right. A All lot right. of times we don't feel like overcomers because we're trying to gain everything right here on Go the ahead. earth. Yes. But yes. that's not what makes you an overcomer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be rich and still not being overcome. All right. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you can be as wealthy as you want to be. Mm -hmm. But if you do not have Jesus, you are not an overcomer. All right. Amen. All right. That's right. Oh yeah, don't turn that dial because you <laughs> shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. And Amen. then you can be uh, not have much as far as materialistic things. Tell us. But you got Jesus. Yes. And you know God. Hallelujah. Yes. And you're walking the walk. Not, yes. just, not yes. just talking the talk. Right, then right. guess what? You're an overcomer and you're going to feel like an overcomer. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't care what the doctor said because you, whenever the doctor gives you a bad report, you have to remember that Jesus said that you are healed with the stripes. Yes. With his stripes, yes. glory to That's God. Right. Hallelujah, That's right. glory to yes. God. You're not trying to be here. You're already healed. Come on. Glory to yeah. God. Thank you, Remember Lord. the Thank report you, of the Lord when you get a bad report from the doctor. And turn that report around. Yes. God will turn it around. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll turn it around. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. In John 10, 28 through 30, 
It says, and I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hands. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the hand of the Father. And I am the Father are one. Wow, wow. Praise God. Look Hallelujah. at that relationship yes. 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 that we have God. with the Jesus. Amen. And Jesus has his relationship with his Father. Amen. So we got two fathers. Amen. Yes. Yes. Look Amen. at that. Yes. Amen. That relationship. And no one, not even Satan thinks that he can snatch us Amen. because we're sold out to Jesus. Amen. 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 Right Amen. Right. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read Ephesians 1, 13. And it says, In him you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise. In other words, after you heard mm, glory mm, to God, mm, mm, the gospel, yes. after you heard that Jesus Christ died on the cross, glory to God, rose again on yes, the third yes. day, glory yes. to God. And mm. when he was on the cross, he took all of our sins. Yes, yes. He yes. had not sinned not one time, but my he my took my all my of my our mind. sins. He took all of our diseases. Yes, glory to God. Yes. And I Matthew, uh, I believe it's Matthew 8, 17, where it says, um, it talks about the prophet Isaiah, and the prophet Isaiah said that he himself, talking about Jesus, uh -huh. he bore our infirmities yes. and all our diseases. Yes, yes. And I want to ask you today, since he bore all your infirmities and all your diseases, why are you carrying it? Mm. Why are my, my, you my, carrying my, my. it? You yeah. gotta cast it on Jesus. Yes, Lord. He said, "Cast all your cares on me, cause I care for you." All right, tell him. Amen. 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 We're talking about being an overcomer today. If you've just tuned in, and this program is Kingdom View. Yes. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. Thank I want to also take this time to invite you to come out and worship with us. Yes. The name of our church is Worshippers Interceding for Excellence. Yes. And we're located at 599 Hampstead Street in Scottsdale, Georgia. And we give you a personal invitation if you're watching today. And we look forward to you coming out. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I think we're going to go, this is our last scripture, and it's coming from Hebrews 7, 25. Therefore, he is able also to save forever yes. those who draw near to God mm -hmm. through him. And when we say him and he, we're talking about Jesus. Yes. Since he always lives to make intercession for them. Now that's powerful right Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. You know, whatever we're going through, whatever you're going through, Jesus is seated. He's not just sitting there, but he's making intercession yes, for he us. Is. Thank yes, you, Lord. Lord. You know, he's you know, it's nothing like having someone pray for you. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, you ask people to pray for you and they might pray and they may not pray. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is always praying. All right. All right. He's not going to forget. That's right. And then he's God. always praying for you. Amen. So once again, I want to say that if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, then why don't you do so today? Just ask the Lord to come into your life. And just repeat after me and say, Jesus, thank you. For forgiving me of my sins. Amen. Amen. I'm asking you to come into my life. Yes. I'm asking you to be my savior. Take my life and yes. use it for your glory. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Well, once again, our panel with us, Evangelist Gloria Smith, Elder Chauncey Boone, and Prophetess Rosalind Ash. Bless you. And, and so as we close. Would anyone like to uh, give some last comments before we go off the air? 
for anyone who's listening and all that's been poured into your hearts today, the word of God, no matter what your situation or circumstance or condition could be, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, so shall you be established. You, if you believe that he is God, yes. and you open it up your heart and you hear the word of God, mm -hmm. and knowing that he's already making intercession for you, you can receive him into your life, and he'll change your situation yes, and make you that overcome and give you that testimony so that you can tell somebody else that it was the Lord who did this, knowing that you have tuned in to hear his word and apply his word so that you can see the results. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I just want to share um, the scripture that comes to my heart and in my spirit is Jeremiah 33 and 3. If you call him, he will answer yes, you. All right. right. Yes, he and will. he will show you great and mighty things. Yes, yes he will. That you know not of. Yes, he will. He will show them to you. Yes, he will. They won't be made up. They won't be made believe. They will be real. Yes. All right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Praise I have a God. word to say. All right. If you would just refocus your sight your mind, your yes. body, and your soul yes. on Jesus Christ, he will answer whatever you need. That's Amen. Right. Yes, he will. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Praise Thank you, Lord. Lord. Well, I can really feel the fire at this table. Yes. The anointing at this Praise table. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm just going to ask you all to tune in every Saturday to watch this program. And remember that we are the Kingdom View. God bless you. Hi, I would like to invite you to our church, Worshippers Interceding for Excellence. We're located at 599 Hampstead Street in Scottsdale, Georgia. Our services are Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. for adult Bible study and children's ministry. Then we have our worship service at 1130. And then on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock p.m., we have Bible study called Power for Living. And we would love you to come out. Come on out and be blessed. God bless you. Christ, you've just begun to leave.